All right, so here I'm inside of Illustrator. Now, in this program, I can take the coat of arms and I can make it into a vector illustration. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I want to do is I want to bring in my source drawing. So I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go Place. So if you're bringing in JPEGs or images, don't drag them in to Illustrator. Don't copy and paste them. The program likes them to be placed inside of it. Okay, just remember, File, Place your image. So then I'm going to go and I'm going to place either this JPEG or that JPEG. I'm going to use this one, um, Sufan's original one, and I'm going to place that in there. It brings this in. I just click and I drag that, and there's my image. There's my source image. So it's going to go to the black arrow tool, hold the shift key down, and then scale that up a bit. What I like to do... <clears throat> is lower the opacity of this and use it almost as like a tracing, like if I'm on a light table. So I'm going to open this up. This is a layer here. Layers inside of Illustrator work more like folders for your paths and images, whereas layers in Photoshop are kind of like single sheets of paper. But so yeah, think of it like that. In Photoshop, your layers are single sheets of paper stacked on top of one another. In Illustrator, layers function more like folders with stacks of paper inside of those folders. Um, so I'm going to go to Window. I'm going to go to Transparency. I'm going to click this, and I'm just going to lower the transparency of this. It'll help me see things better, right? So I go back, layer here, or all of your stuff, all of your windows, if you don't see them, are under here. So if I don't see Layer, you can go Window, and then Layers, and you can it'll pop it up. So now I'm going to make a new layer on top of there. So I've clicked New thing here, create new layer. I'm going to call this my drawing. And then I'm going to say image reference is here. You don't need to label things. I am a big fan of labeling things, but I know students are like, ooh, that cramps my style. It's too much work. Don't worry if you don't label them. I need to stay organized. So I label them. Then you can turn this eyeball off and on down here. And now the drawing is ready to go up here. So I'm going to zoom in. <clears throat> and the easiest thing for me to demo first is probably going to be these people. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click and hold the pen tool, tear that off. I'm going to make, because you can draw shapes with the pen tool. And then I'm going to click and hold and tear off the shapes area. So then basically you can start finding simple shapes that go along with it. And then if that's red, I could change the color in there. That was stroke, so I could make that stroke bigger. So now I have the head of this person here. I think sometimes it's easier to use like simple shapes like this. So if I go here to this rounded rectangular tool, I can go, and there's the round. I hit the up and down arrows, so I'm hitting the down arrow. You see that it's not making the edges is making the edges less round. If I hit the up arrow, it will round them more. So I move that into place there. So I'm going to start with this a simple shape like that, and then I have the bottom part there done, right? Oh, that popped down into here, so I'm just going to drag this up into here. I'm going to turn this one off. And now I'm just going to take my pen tool and I'm going to draw this in here. I click and drag. If I click and drag, it, it creates uh, curved lines with the pen tool. Go over here, click and drag that. And then I'm going to join that together. That's not perfect. If I want to make some adjustments, I can go to the white arrow tool and adjust these. If that's a harsh, not curved line, you can go here, and I curve that. Perfect. <clears throat> and I can go here. Now what I want to do, I think that one popped down there, so I'm going to move that up here. I'm going to select both of these. So I could just go here, select, oh, wrong button. I'm going to shift select both of these things, and then I'm going to join them together. There is this shape builder tool here. 
So you select both of those, click and then drag that up there and it joins them together. And then that's how you could start building things like that. Now, if I want this line here, What I could do is just go to the pen tool, draw a line straight up like that. I could go no fill and just keep that as a stroke. So that's how you can bring in a coat of arms or drawing and start creating vector art over top of it by using it as a source, source image. I'm going to take a couple more minutes here. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what I would do further. So I would have this drawing here, maybe the leader drawing, and then I make another section for the owl if I was keeping myself organized. <clears throat> and again, I would start with simple, simple shapes for the eyes. So I could go make a circle there. Copy, paste, whoa, what did I do? Copy, paste that. Make this cir circle a bit bigger. Follow that line there. So I'm gonna drag this shape on top of the other one. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is starting to go. Select this. It's got a bit of an orange in there, so I could go there, then select this one, and I could go with something darker. No, nope, wrong one. Fill darker there. And then if I wanted to highlight for the eye, right? Go here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit tighter. Make a second or a final. Circle, fill that with a lighter color. I'm gonna put no stroke on that. And the thing I like to show people about eyes or anything that's symmetrical is you only have to make one. And I can shift select all these. I would right click, group them together, and then copy and paste it. You have your other eye made. And if you want that eye flipped, this might look goofy, but who knows? You go down here, there's the reflect tool, double click. And there you go, there's how you can flip it. So essentially what you do is if you wanna create some artwork over top, you bring that, you bring your, you place your image inside of Illustrator here, lower the transparency like I showed you, and then start drawing over top of it. That's the, the gist of it.